Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect your Nintendo DS to a WPA or WPA2 network and still be able to play online. Now keep in mind that I will be showing you guys how to do this on a Nintendo 3DS family of systems, but just remember that this is possible on a Nintendo DS, DS Lite, DSi, 3DS or 2DS, depending, uh, I mean, regardless of which model you have. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to enter the game that you would like to connect online to. So in this case, I'm going to show this with Mario Kart DS. So what you want to do, you want to uh, basically just go where, you know, you connect your Nintendo DS to the internet. In this case, in the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection settings, just tap Wi-Fi connection settings and you will be onto this page. Now, if you tap connection settings and you try to connect to a network which has WPA or WPA2, then you will not be able to connect because the Nintendo DS only supports open connections, which means no password, or web connections. So that's pretty unfortunate. Luckily, there are some ways for you to be able to get it without having a web or open connection. First of all, uh, first um, method is to have a phone that can do Wi-Fi sharing. For example, the Samsung Galaxy S9 can do Wi-Fi sharing, which is basically, you know, you connect your phone to the Wi-Fi and then you can use that phone's hotspot to connect other devices to it, which means if the hotspot doesn't have a password on it, your DS can connect to it just fine. But what if you don't have one of those new phones and you still need to do it? Well, there's a different way, but this method requires a computer. So let's move on to that. First of all, you want to go into your system settings menu from your computer. You can do that by clicking the start button and then you will see the settings menu right here. Just enter that and you will be greeted over here. And make sure that your PC has an active internet connection. Now what you want to do is you want to go to network and internet. Then you want to select mobile hotspot here. Now, you can do yours via Wi-Fi, but unfortunately mine doesn't seem to work via Wi-Fi um, over here. So, choose share my internet connection over Bluetooth, since that one is, uh, you know, going to work most of the time. It works for me at least. So yeah, just uh, check the Bluetooth section and then turn your internet connection on. Now, for this method, you will actually have to have a phone handy as well in order to tether your uh, Wi-Fi connection. So let's move on to the right, So here we are in the system settings menu of our phone What you want to do you want to go into your Bluetooth settings? So if your Bluetooth is already off just um, you know turn it on obviously and Then you want to find your computer. So just tap on your computers Bluetooth connection It'll say connecting and then it'll end up saying connected no phone It might just say connected for you, but this essentially means that your Bluetooth is on now you want to slide down your notification bar Good, uh, and then you'll be able to see hotspot right here you want to turn on your hotspot alright so make sure that your hotspot is turned on uh, if you don't um, you know want to go into your notification bar or if your hotspot settings are not there you can just go into portable hotspot or into connection and sharing depending on which model of phone you have in my case portable hotspot is right here so just turn on portable hotspot and make sure that your security is none in my case in my list of options i have none and wpa2 psk in your case you should have none now once that's done press the tick at the top right yours may be different like i said and we are ready to move back to the nintendo ds so now that we are back on the DS, what you're going to do is you want to select a connection. In this case, I've already set up my connection for connection one, but you uh, you guys will probably have it saying none. So just select a connection, click search for an access point, and it'll search for an access point that it can connect to. In this case, it has found my phone, Redmi 6A. So let's just go ahead and click on that. Connection settings have been saved. Tap OK to start connection test. Yes. Let's test that connection. And once the, con uh, the connection has been tested correctly, uh, you will see it uh, showing green over here. 
It may take a little bit of time, but eventually it will work. It may say uh, unable to obtain IP address, but in this case, since I already have it on, um, that's basically okay. So now what you want to do, once the connection has been set up, so once it's been set up, you will see that it'll be written ready. So what you want to do, you want to tap on that, and then you want to scroll down until you see auto obtain DNS. And you want to put auto obtain DNS as no. We don't want to auto obtain DNS. And we're going to change the primary DNS to this number 172.104.88.237. So, as you guys can see, it is this number. So, you can copy it down. I will leave it in the description in case you want it. So, yeah, once you're done with that, tap save settings to save them. Press back and press back again. Now you'll be here on this page. Now you can tap Nintendo Wi-Fi connection match. Connect to Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Yes. And it'll start to connect to Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I assure you that it will work on a DS, on a regular DS, DS Lite, DSi, and 3DS. So as you guys can see, now it has worked and you can now select uh, your opponent, worldwide, friends, rivals, continental, or yeah, that's basically it. And then what you want to do, just tap OK. And as you can see, you can now play online using Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and maybe even subscribe to my channel to help me out. Thanks a lot.